no spoilers, right? Okay. Hello, America. I'm Titus Musi, and I'm playing Inspector Javert in Kevin Moraine High School Summer Academy's production of Name is a Rob School Edition. So, hi, my name is Darren Brockbar, and I play Jean Valjean. Hi, my name is Amy Majeski, and I'm going to be playing Fontaine. Hi, I'm Lucas Yeager, and I'm playing the part of Angel Ra. Hi, I'm Kirsten Freckle, and I am playing Cosette. Hi, I'm John Ziga, and I'm playing Grant Hare. Hi, I'm Sophia, and I'm playing Eponine. So, I'm John Danier, and I'm playing Marius. Hi, I'm Signe. Um, I play core number one. Now, Valjean is... At the beginning, he's just this kind of a guy. He steals bread because his sister's starving. And that gets him in trouble, and then he does more trouble stuff like trying to escape. Anyway, he breaks his parole because he realizes, realizes that it's the right thing to do. Okay, I'm gonna get very psychological terms in here. There's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. At the very top level five, self-actualization is where you determine what is right from wrong. Almost nobody gets to that point. And Valjean, I think, throughout the show does, because he determines that even though he may be breaking the law, he's doing what is right. Just, like, it's right, I mean. And later on, he helps this worker woman that he accidentally kind of fired. She has a daughter that he then raises and adopts as, her, as his own, and so that's another good thing. He's a very kind, gentle, loving man. Even though he adopts Cosette, he's exceptionally overprotective of her because he knows what happened with Fontaine, because that's mother, and he knows what happens in the real world. So he wants to protect her, but in doing that, he just like shelters her from everything. And, but other than that, he's a pretty good guy, just like I said, tries to do what is right. Oh, my favorite part of playing him, it's just the music for the show is so fantastic, and I get a lot of cool songs. And just my convict costume, especially with the jacket, is just so cool. And I love just the heavy jacket and it's like all tattered and torn and I've got, oh, I should show you the tattoo. I've got the tattoo, 24601, yeah! It's dedication right there. People rip open my shirt and it says the 24601 and that's really cool. Thank you. So, Inspector Javert, what's he like? Well, he's more of a cutthroat, not a villain. He's doing what he thinks is good. He's not really, which in a case is what a villain does, but he's doing it by the law. He's more of abide by the law, criminals are criminals, lawmen are lawmen, that border should not be crossed at all. Jean Valjean is the one thing that crossed that border. He's trying to catch him throughout the entire show. Like between, is he good or is he bad? He doesn't know. That's why I think he's so intent on catching him. That's basically his entire story. So long, America. Namaste. Hello. So, uh, hi, we're we the, the Tenardiers. We are the villains. Uh, the bad villains of the show. I mean, Chabert is sort of a bad guy, but we're the villainous fat bad guys. We are the uh, black, dark, the dark yeah, humor, the, the dark musical. humor comedy relief. We get make our living off of thievery. We have a tavern where we steal from people as we feed them, and then we get them drunk and we steal them from them some more. Sure, yeah. And then we sort of get caught on that. That thieving eventually leads to what? Yeah, we we've rich. So, yeah we have so much money, and he becomes a baron, and I'm a baroness. And we're just great people to be around. I mean, I love us. <laughs> One thing I actually do love about playing Tenardier is that I don't have to use proper vocal technique. I can slur and gravel and Belt. slide and a whole bunch of... I can use multiple vowels in one word and I'll be like, I'm a proper choir student who uses all the correct vowels every time I sing. But I can be like, well, uh, I am Tenardier and I don't use speak well grammar. My favorite part is being crude and naughty. We're such nice people, so we don't we don't act like this in real life. So mm. it's nice to just let loose, right, Asher? Yeah. It's sort of stepping out of our character, like yeah. Emma and Asher's character. But it's fun. But it's totally in the totally Tenardier opposite, character. Yeah. yeah. It's good to set an example for the children of what they shouldn't be. <laughs> um, Fontaine is a big favorite character of mine. She is such a strong person. You only get a small glimpse of her story, but um, she has a kid and she will do anything it takes to protect her and make sure that her daughter has a good life. She works in a factory and she does this to pay for her child which she has sent away with an innkeeper. After she loses her job there at the factory she goes through a whole 
many other downhill events and she ends up in prostitution and that is where Jean Valjean comes in and helps and he tries to save her life. Jean Valjean's relationship with Fantine, in my opinion, is kind of like a brother-sister thing because of course Jean Valjean, he tried to save his sister and her daughter by stealing the loaf of bread and that's kind of what starts off the story and so there's a parallel there with Fantine and her daughter. So I like to think that Jean Valjean and Fantine are kind of a brotherly sister thing. <laughs> I like playing Fantine because she is a very strong person and I wish I had an ounce of the strength and fierceness that she has because to go through everything that she does and she still has that hope and that drive that's constantly just I am doing this for my daughter and she has such a purpose about her I think that's really incredible. Um, Cosette is the daughter of Fantine. Cosette is an illegitimate child so she's not really accepted in her mother's world. Jean Valjean adopts her as his daughter. She lives with him for most of her life. Cosette is a very misunderstood character. There's not that much of her in the musical, so people automatically don't like her very much because there isn't that much of her. She's often seen as being very oblivious to what's going on. I mean, she doesn't remember living with the Thenardiers when she was young. That's like five years of her life that they abused her and she has no recollection of it at all. But in the book, because I'm reading that right now, there's more of her there. She likes to read and to sing and she's passionate about things. I also enjoy that I get to explore a, a higher part of my register. I'm used to singing alto, but this is soprano one, and the high C is a lot of fun to sing in one day more. Um, Marius. Marius is like the, the headstrong lover boy. He's kind of an idealist. In love with this girl, Cosette. It's pretty much love at first sight. Oh my god, love at first sight. He knocks her over in the middle of a street. That's pretty awesome. And they fall in love. What's going on with that? And then his best friend, Eponine. Um, is in love with him, even though he doesn't really like her, because she's kind of... It ends out happily, after lots of depressing stuff. That's about it. Eponine is a really cool character, because she's like a female in the past, which, you know, fem female characters sometimes seem kind of just like floaty and fluffy, but she's like this really strong character that like is smart and like street smart. She's actually like my favorite character, so it's really fun to play Eponine. Um, <laughs> um, her and Marius are friends, and she really wants to be more than friends, and like she's very determined <laughs> to be more than friends with him, and it's, spoiler alert, doesn't it turn out so good? That was bad. Yeah, she just, she is very devoted to him. One thing I like about Angela is that he's, he's the rebel, he's a natural born leader, he just, He's the one that's going to go against the flow. He's, 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 a, he's very powerful. Not, not exactly strength-wise, just his, the emotion and the emotion he has for his opinions and the way he presents himself. He's, I think he's one of the most powerful characters in the show. So, yeah. Whore number one. Despite all the funny, like, friendly jokes, I guess, about that role, it's still a very fun role to play, even though it's kind of a down in the dumps, sorry, sad situation. The scene, Lovely Ladies, it's vulgar, but it's also shows just how much these people have stooped so low as to sell themselves because they have absolute n nowhere else to turn to. It, it's kind of upbeat and so if you talk to anyone who's seen this musical as a kid that was always one of their favorite songs because it's this sarcastic upbeat kind of jaunty tune but then you listen to the lyrics and it's really depressing. I wrote a character bio for myself, the innkeeper scene. It's like drunks, happy, and it's kind of at least in my mind, showing the other side of my character, whereas I'm on the streets in the lovely ladies having to sell myself and make a living, and then in the innkeeper scene, I'm kind of letting loose, having fun, um, kind of trying to drink away your sorrows. It's really depressing. There's a lot more to these people than just what meets the eye. <laughs> Hello, I'm just in the ensemble. I'm here to talk about my favorite character, little Gavroche Thenardier. Not many people know he's a Thenardier. Eponine is his sister, 
He got kicked out of the Tenardi's house because Madame Tenardi didn't want to feed him anymore. My favorite part about Gavroche is his friendship with Grant Hare, the cynical drunk of the ABC club. Something I like about Grant Hare is like, I don't know, he's, he just seems more free than all the other guys. He, he likes to drink. Um, <laughs> He seems more like free spirited and like all, all the other guys are just like war and whatnot and then there's Grand Hair who's just there. Grand Hair's so cynical, he makes fun of Marius, he makes fun of Enjolras, he makes fun of everybody. He doesn't really have many friends or anything. Except for Gavroche. But he's still kind of the life of the party. He's just like, whatever, I just want to die and drink my beer, wine, or whatever he drinks. Another thing that's cool about him, um, I made a relationship with um, with Gavroche. It didn't say to in the script or anything really. Since it's in the book, um, I, I decided to bring that to the light and add that to the play. When Gavroche climbs the barricade and Grand Hair screams, no! I cry. And yeah, he's just a really fun character, both of them. I was told not to give any spoilers away if you're coming to see the show. By the way, the dates are. Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th, two day break. Wednesday 18th is a two o'clock matinee. Up until Saturday then, it's seven o'clock shows along with the first Friday and Saturday. So please come see our show. It'll be really meaningful, it's gonna be really cool, it's very technical, it's very flashy. We got a smoke machine. Oh my God. So